This video is going to show how to convert IFC objects to Tecla native objects. The first step we'll do is go to IFC object conversion settings. We'll want to create a report after we convert our objects. We also want to convert VREP objects. This will give the ability to convert some of the parts to be items. You can set up your primary profile mapping. And let's go over an example of how we can copy properties from the IFC objects to the user defined attributes of the future Tecla native objects. So if we inquire in on our IFC object, like this slab for example, we might want to take some textual information from that IFC object over to our Tecla native object. In this example, I'm going to copy over the assembly code to the native object. So if I add in a row, I'm going to copy the name of that property into the property section. And for the UDA, you need to enter the attribute name that's found in that objects.imp file. So you can use UDAs that are out of the box, and you can also use UDAs that you make yourself in your own custom objects.imp files. For example, a custom UDA I made was IFC family. And so I'm assigning the property of other.family to that IFC family UDA. And I'm also going to do the same for category for an IFC attribute that I created. Once we have those settings proper, we'll press apply, OK. And if we pull up the UDAs of the concrete column part, for example, I've added in my own tab for Revit information. So that's where this information is going to be sent to when I go to convert to Tecla native objects. So we can select the information we want to convert a couple ways. You can go to the reference models list and hide and isolate layers that you want to convert. Uh, the example I'm going to go over is selecting the objects inside of the organizer that I want to convert. So I selected my floors, my columns, and my footings. And so now I'm going to cross select that with some level information I got from that IFC. Once I have the objects I want to convert, I'll select Convert IFC Objects under the Manage tab. So it'll process that information, and then a report is going to come up where we can control some parameters in the conversion. The key thing in this report is the conversion status. So a lot of objects might not be able to convert as an extrusion, so you'll need to convert them as a BREP object, which is a basic representation, which is essentially a shape or an item in Tecla. So you won't be able to change its profile or its thickness, but you'll still be able to quantify it. So you can see under that conversion status, that's where we can change it to be converted as an item, and you can do this for several objects at one time. Over on the right side of my screen, you can see there's an old value and new value column. And that's for use if we are doing change management with our IFC. If there's changes to the IFC objects and we want to reconvert that model. So once we set up how we want to convert our items, see the old and new values, and if we want to update them, then we'll hit apply changes. And so now we're taking a look at the native objects that were converted. You can reference the Tecla user assistance on how those class colors are determined in the conversion. So once we have them as Tecla natives, we can go in and actually modify the properties like the profile, the material, the elevations. You can manipulate and cut them. Uh, we can add in the user defined attributes. And there you can see where those IFC properties were copied over from that Revit IFC. Another great thing about converting to Tecla native objects is you can use direct modification to make changes. You can see I'm dragging on the slab to make those adjustments. So now using the organizer, we can make a category of cast in place parts. 
and we can make automated lists based on name, material, and profile, for example. Now we can select that information in our model if we need to make a change or develop a report. So if I needed to make an adjustment to the slabs that were converted over as 5,000 PSI, I can make those all change to 4,500. And so I can synchronize the category and all of those materials are going to change. We could also create a subcategory list based on the IFC property, just like we did for material name and profile. So again, you can see that IFC family property that I assigned in the conversion setting. So we can either select that information to make a change, or we can select that information to develop a report using our organizer template. That's all for this presentation. If you have any other further questions about IFC conversion, reach out to your local services team or post a comment below.